I very much enjoyed the conversation. I enjoyed how you unfolded the reaction to the poly crisis, perma crisis, though it sounded very much technocratic, technical in how you go on about it. Yet there was something shining through. At moments, the heart was touched. So I'd like to ask the question to the entire podium, the, the legendary Turner question. What's love got to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Because I remind you, one of our seven principles in our new generational contract is care. Uh, Desmond, what does love have to do with it? And I'm going to ask you to also respond to Holly's yeah. question on infrastructure at the same time. Yeah, no, dealing with COVID, the crisis that affects lives and jobs, uh, it's not technocratic at all. You, you, you have the science, uh, and you make the best out of it in a fog of war, and you make decisions knowing that they can mean life or death. You can make the right decision, and you're lucky. You make it the wrong decision, and lives will be lost, jobs may be lost. And uh, those last three years, for me, as a, as a, as a young uh, member of the administration, uh, it was the baptism of fire. And uh, there were many occasions where it was not the logic or the instruction, it was the sense that we are fighting this together. I'll give you an example. I visited, uh, because my ministry looks after the uh, quarantine facilities, and we turned a, 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 some chalets into quarantine facilities, and we needed to have people to man them. And mind you, there were no tests, there were no vaccines at the time. Cast your mind back to 20, 2020, 2021. And I visited uh, the officers from the auxiliary police who were doing that job, and some were very stressed. They broke down in tears. They were worried for their health, their safety, for their children when they go home. You have to assure them it's, it's about the heart. It's not about you do that job. You must, you must be with them. The other occasion was uh, when we had a circuit breaker, which is for you what we call a lockdown. And I discussed with the health minister. I was then looking after the social and family ministry. I looked after welfare homes, destitute homes. He looked after nursing homes. And we said, look, what's happening in, in parts of the world, including in Europe, where people were dying in nursing homes because infection got in. Uh, and we said, we will have to consider the unthinkable in Singapore and ask all the staff, both Singaporean staff and our foreign staff who work side by side with us, persuade them to quarantine with their patients on the same floor in their home for one month. And for some of them, they're Muslim. It's a month of Ramadan. Cannot go home. Stay in your facility. Don't even cross floors. Otherwise, we'll move you to a hotel every day. Totally segregated public health. And, and I had a Zoom call. And the CEOs were like, a very tough call. And I talked to the health minister. We must go and talk to the frontliners. Go down to the facilities. When we arrived, they were waving at us from the different floors. And it was very emotional. It was like, we are asking a lot from you. Mm. And we don't know it's the right decision. Please trust us. Mm. We'll be with you. And we got thumbs up. We had tears. And none the worse for wear, thankfully. All right? None the worse for wear. So it, it is not just about technocratic decision making. Mm. Crisis or no crisis, the decision is, is an act of faith based on the best known data that you have and working with your public officers and the private sector, you make the call and you stand or fall with it. For Ellie's question about... Oh, oh.